Hello and welcome to Tactical Chess TV. In this edition, I will be discussing about some basic, uh, basic variations of king pawn opening. So it can in, uh, involve e3 or e4. So if white moves e4, for instance, then there are many other variations uh, by which black can react. For example, e4, oh sorry, e5, or knight f6, or e6. This is known as French defense. All right. So this is very common and popular move e5. So there can be now many many variations for white as well. So this opening is very popular because it gives the control over the central squares. That is d4, e4, d5, and e5. So that is why many players prefer these moves. Now knight to f3 or d4. These are two other variations. For example, white moves d4. Now it can move f6 or it can attack this pawn if it attacks this pawn this is known as center game accepted if it doesn't if it remains like that then it is known as center game so what black will do here is it that it will accept this pawn white can react by taking this pawn now knight c6 just move the queen back to here now bishop can come over here c5 knight f3 now d6 you can move it here c3 to prevent the bishop from com coming over here to b4 file b4 square bishop over to d7 queen can come back to c2 so that if knight moves anywhere else queen will be under threat knight f6 then bishop to d3 then a6 to prevent the bishop to come over here to b5 square then you can castle it over here, king side then black can, black can castle or it can move some something else it can move uh, h6 to prevent the bishop to come over at g5 square so this is how you start and gain an, gain an authority in the game so, if you want some other variation, you can have it. For example, if black doesn't move bishop to c5, it can move bishop to b4 check. Then you can simply move the pawn over here or you can bring knight over here. For example, if you move the pawn over here, it will react by moving the bishop to c5. Then knight f3 then knight f6 you can you can pin this knight over here bishop to g5 all right then castle king side knight over here at d2 to protect this pawn d6 bishop d3 then you can react this by bringing the knight from c6 square to d to e5 square right now you can either accept this knight or you can bring the uh, queen over to c2 or if you don't want you can accept this knight as well with the help of knight at f3 
Now pawn attack this bishop h6. You can move it back, or if you don't want to move it back, you can attack this knight like this. Bishop moves back. So this is the first variation. This is how you play, how you start a game. Very basic, very simple for beginners. Now there are other variation as well. E4, E5, D4, E into D4, Knight F3. Now this is another variation. Now you haven't attacked this pawn with the help of queen. You have moved Knight F3. Then. You cannot actually protect this pawn until unless you move c5. Now you accept this pawn with the help of this knight. Now knight f6, attack the pawn at e4, knight c3, castle king side, bishop b5, d6. Castle king side, c6, black reacts by attacking this bishop, bishop can move back, rook e8, now this pawn is under pressure, you can look at knight at f6 as well as rook at d8, or uh, rook at e8 I am sorry, bishop to f3, knight d7 knight b3 this is one variation another variation is for example if it moves like this to protect this pawn when we move the bishop over here c4 Then black will move the knight over c6. Then you can move c3. If it attacks this pawn, you can attack this pawn with the help of your knight. And then you have lost one pawn, definitely, but you have gained a positional advantage. You can bring your pieces over here, you have got more developed pieces bishop two knights black has only got one developed piece in the form of knight at c6 this is one variation um how will he react he will try to uh, give support to the pawn at c5 then you can move queen queen b3 queen d7 castle king side this is how you do. Now, this was center game pawn accepted. Center game accepted. This is known as a variation. Now, another variation I am going to tell you. And this variation. This is known as Keseretsky variation. When you when you move knight f3 instead of attacking this pawn with the help of knight, with the help of queen. All right. So now we'll move on to another variation. E4. D, E5 d4 d6 this is known as Mar marcosi defense when the black moves uh, d6 instead of atta attacking this pawn or some something else then you can move d5 bishop e7 
bishop b3 knight f6 and then c4 black can continue by moving c6 knight e2 uh, uh, allowing the king a chance to castle king side b5 attacking this pawn knight c3 b into c4 bishop into c4 bishop b7 and then castle king side c into d5 bishop into d5 knight into d5 then again knight into d5 this is another variation now you have got this bishop can move in this direction queen here it has got so much of freedom okay another variation d6 d5 bishop e7 instead of bishop e7 if the black moves c6 for for instance then you can move c4 f5 knight c3 the pawn is getting attacked at e4 square knight comes to help it out knight f6 attacks again now you can attack this pawn because or you can even bring your bishop at f1 to d3 as well that is another option or you can at simply attack this pawn at f5 now bishop attacks back then you can move the bishop over here this is another variation or if black moves knight f6 till now what we have learned bishop e7 and c6 now knight f6 bishop to d3 this pawn is getting attacked at d at e4 knight d7 b4 to prevent the knight from coming on c5 square this is a good move then a5 black prevents it back b5 knight c5 now this, these two pawns at b5 and d5 are giving you so much uh, dominance at the c6 square now this bishop can move back or you can bring the knight over here because this queen at d1 is supporting this bishop at d3 bishop to g4 f3 bishop to h5 and knight g2 this is another variation so i hope you all have must have enjoyed this video click the like button subscribe to my channel thank you so much